Still no arrest in the murder of Andrew Shane Herlong. A gunman shot him yesterday morning at the BP service station on the corner of St. Stephen's Road and Wasson Avenue. Pritchard police say they're searching for four suspects. They've released very little on the investigation, but say they're following up on leads. Meanwhile, business owners in the area are fed up. The Golden Egg closed its doors because of crime. But as News 5's Tiffany McCall shows us, not all business owners think the area is bad. She also has a response from the city. The eight mile fruit stand sits on the eight mile Pritchard line just up the street from businesses like the Golden Egg, this raceway station, BP and other businesses that have been targets for crime. You know, it's sad like Golden Egg closing because we knew her very well. Okay. She traded with us and and I hated to see that. But um, but you know, sometimes crime uh, really puts a lot of fear and and it does. It puts fear in, in people. Kay Daw and Karen Tolbert are sisters. This Christmas will mark 47 years their family-owned market has been in business, but they say the crime in the area has slowed business down. Mm -hmm, because we do have a lot of uh, elderly trade that, um, you know, lives real close and they don't drive very far and then and they get scared. So she says her family takes a more proactive approach to keep crime at bay by using their faith. We'll hold hands and if our customers come in, they'll join in and we'll have a prayer. Getting to know all of their customers and not allowing loitering. We don't allow the soliciting around here. That's something Pritchard police say is a major problem along St. Stephen's Road. In certain areas, the businesses actually allow the lo loitering. They uh, may participate by um, selling Lucy's, which are single cigarettes, um, which is illegal. And then when it becomes very um, targeted, it's then an issue. All crimes are crimes. Melanie Baldwin is the spokesperson for the city. She says the police department receives help from Mobile Police and the Sheriff's Office on bigger investigations. Of course we have, uh, don't have enough manpower. And wants business owners to work better with police to help solve crimes. With the manpower we do have, we don't have, sometimes have the correct information. Baldwin says every crime is being investigated. The Pritchard Police Department has three crime investigation officers and 40 officers on staff. Tiffany McCall, News 5. Baldwin goes on to say the police department has started community action groups in different neighborhoods and that particular area had a very low turnout, but they hope to try again.